738 is our time. You know, St. Louis City has portions of its storm sewer system dating back to the 19th century and it can create weird situations like this where water just blows out of the ground or pops manhole covers during flash floods. Fox 2's Andy Banker shows you how this video is making a big difference now. Here's the before video from 2018. You can hear chunks of pavement raining down on that car. Here's the after video from the same spot last year. Manhole covers pop up and down, releasing air and water pressure. It's basically letting the sewers breathe is what we're doing. The covers are on hinges and too heavy to lift without tools. Barriers prevent people from parking over them at 9th and Rutger, just south of downtown. Grates have also been added for venting. The $45,000 worth of improvements are better than costly street and car repairs, let alone potential injuries. Came out and put some vents in, uh, installed some uh, new uh, hinge manhole covers. So actually, when the uh, that put that with the air pressure and all that water, when it, when it lifts, it pushes that um, the, the manhole cover up slightly and lets the air out and lets the pressure go out, and then the water can uh, subside and go go where it needs to go. And there are at least five or six other places in the city where they are seeing what they call this geyser phenomenon. And the lessons learned here should help fix the problems everywhere else. Oh my God. The intersection of Arkansas and McKean is a repeat offender. This is video from a year ago. This is video from earlier this week. Resident Sasha Heath shot both of them. You hear the water exploding and it sounds like steam and then chunks of asphalt are flying in the air. Videos like these have been critical in helping the Metropolitan St. Louis Sewer District pinpoint the problems and get them fixed. Much of the newer stormwater and sewage system feeds into centuries old brick portions. And this is how they can vent pressure during a hundred year flood event like we saw this week. A longtime MSD worker says prior to people capturing these geysers with their cell phones, they may have been dismissed as urban legend. They're also critical in coming up with solutions. For instance, those hinged manhole covers and parking barriers at 9th and Rutger won't work for the high traffic intersection at Arkansas and McKean. The videos give engineers a place to start. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News.